I'm Dr. K. R. Balakrishnan. I specialize in heart and lung transplants and mechanical circulatory support, mm. and currently uh, trying to establish a, a vibrant and state-of-the-art heart and lung transplant program at the Jaslok Hospital in Mumbai. Heart transplant in this country, um, even though it started way back in 1994, uh, there's been a great uh, resurgence and uh, growth in this specialty over the last decade. And uh, every year close to 200 uh, plus transplants are done. And the current outcomes are very good. Uh, over 90% of these patients are alive at the end of one year. And more than 80% are alive at around 10 years with excellent quality of life. Which is remarkable considering the fact that these patients uh, expected longevity without the transplant was not more than three months. To a large extent, this has been because of um, increased awareness about organ donation, which was initiated by several state governments, including the government of Maharashtra, and the help from NOTO, the national agency which is in charge of organ distribution. As a consequence, more and more people are coming forward to donate organs uh, after their death, and this has helped <coughs> uh, the program to grow enormously. Unlike kidney and liver, uh, heart and lung transplants require cadaveric donation. That's why this is important. And as I mentioned, the current uh, results of both heart and lung are very good and comparable to the best outcomes in the world. There's also been a great advance in the field of mechanical circulatory support and artificial heart pumps, which were initially introduced as a method of bridging or supporting patients with advanced heart failure while they're waiting for a donor organ. Now the pumps have become so advanced and specialized that you can expect to live 10 to 15 years with artificial heart pumps without having to undergo a transplant. So that's been a great boon. And increasingly now, even in our country, that procedure is done very commonly with excellent outcomes. And we uh, expect uh, a lot of growth in those areas at the Just Lock Hospital. Which patients need a transplant? Uh, transplant can be done uh, from as young as one day of age to as old as 80 years of age. At least we have done both. Uh, majority of patients are in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, and sometimes in the 50s. Patients with uh, end-stage heart failure usually present with repeated hospital admissions difficulty in breathing, profound weakness, inability to walk much, and decrease in urine output. If you have more than two episodes of hospital admission in the last one year with heart failure or these symptoms, it is better to consult uh, a doctor uh, to rule out heart failure and if, if it's appropriate to undergo tests and then we decide whether a transplant is a viable option or not. Most of the patients we advise transplant who in fact undergo this procedure have an expected one year survival of less than 10 to 15 percent. So considering that kind of, um, of prognosis, the fact that 80 percent of these patients are alive and well with excellent uh, physical activity possible at the end of 10 years is a testimony to how advanced the therapy has become. Heart transplant is also possible to be done in children and increasingly we are doing that in large numbers. Uh, the youngest we have done is a four month old child. Uh, we've done close to 130 pediatric transplants and the outcomes in fact are better than in adults with a five year survival of around 85%.